The mighty oak was once a small nut. Our team is an assorted bag of 15 nuts divided into four subdivisions that are guided by a student team leader who strives to become an expert and mentors new members. The work is distributed equally and we meet three days a week to work. We began the season by preparing the team's business plan. The team's budget is around 3,500 and is constantly updated. Our revenue comes from sponsors and fundraising such as our robotics learning camps. We hope to minimize our costs by reusing old parts from past years. So far, we are on track to reach our fundraising goals. After getting this year's challenge, Velocity Vortex, we brainstormed using the engineering design process to organize and prioritize the different ways you could play the game. We designed the robot based off an offensive game strategy. Our goals for Autonomous were to trigger the beacons, push the cat ball onto the playing field, and park the robot onto the corner vortex ramp. We also have different Autonomous programs to accommodate our alliance's needs. For Teleop, we wanted to control the beacons, score in the center vortex, and raise the cat ball off the playing field. Once we finalized our game strategy, we designed our robot in Autodesk Inventor. Catting helps us solve real-world problems virtually. We then prototyped their designs to see our constraints and measurements needed, while taking into consideration the software restraints on our hardware designs. We use mathematical calculations to make our final components, and we continue to make design adjustments as needed. We have a six-wheel drivetrain which consists of two slick wheels and four traction wheels powered by four motors with a gearbox ratio of 1 to 1.5. Our pickup is made up of of a six-tier roller system made out of one-inch PVC with a foam exterior to efficiently pick up the balls with a motor to bring them up to the shooter. Our scoring mechanism is a flywheel shooter powered by a motor with a 1 to 9 gear ratio. Located at the top of our robot, the shooter uses CNC cut pieces which allows us to get the angle we need to accurately shoot from two feet away. Using an 80-20 telescoping lift and two servos, we lift the cat ball up to the center vortex. For Autonomous, the robot uses an accelerometer to detect the position of the robot, which allows for improved accuracy and robot movement towards the beacons. Once at the beacons, we use three color sensors for alignment and for deciding which button to push. During teleop, we use encoders on both the lift and the drivetrain to control position and speed. For our first meet, we plan on using various spirit items such as buttons, nut necklaces, and costumes. Our most unique outreach is our work with officials from District 5 in spreading the message of STEM and FIRST to underprivileged youth. We mentor FLO, FTC, and FRC teams from our school, Olympia High School, and Boys and Girls Club. We communicate with these other FIRST teams through our various social media websites. We plan to volunteer at the Lockheed Martin-sponsored FLO competition, host an FRC kickoff, and hold an imagery workshop. We train even the quietest members to come out of their shells and spread the message of FIRST. We also work with professionals such as representatives from Fluid Power Society and ITSEC. And that's our team in a nutshell. Thank you.